Hey, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I uh, last made a video. Uh, a lot has been going on. I think my last video I told you all that I uh, got hit by a car. Me and my doggy got hit by a car. And um, I'm recovering nicely. My doggy didn't get too beat up. Um, her nose got, you know, a little scratched up and she had some bumps and bruises. Nothing too serious. I think I took the worst of it with the whiplash and everything <coughs> oh excuse me oh and uh before we get too involved um if you could give me a big thumbs up that would be great um any first time viewers welcome it's always nice to have new viewers i hope you all subscribe to the channel and uh it's a beautiful morning here in florida 73 degrees absolutely positively no humidity so as I was saying uh, yeah I've been quite busy um, you know I got hit by the car doggy's okay I'm recovering nicely I mean doctor gave me clearance about 10 days afterwards so I was out and riding and um, then I uh, caught a bug for a, I don't know about a week I felt like crap I didn't go out didn't do anything exercise um april april 6th i went up to ohio to pick up a 12 pack for the street glide here old cashmere uh, met some old friends that was good shot the sh shot the breeze caught up uh went and stopped in south carolina and visited my oldest friend that I know I've known my friend um, up there in South Carolina I won't mention any names I've known him for it'll be 24 years this August that's a long time I mean how many of you people can say you have friends 24 years I know far and few between And um, on the way home from South Carolina, I uh, stopped in Roswell, Georgia. I, I broke a shot glass. And um, every Holly Daler I visit on my trips, I buy a shot glass instead of a t-shirt. Because, you know, how many times can you wear a t-shirt and you can drink out of shot glasses? Well, that's always good. So I stopped there. Killer Creek, Holly Davidson. Really nice dealership. They have some nice bikes. They have a really nice panhead chopper on display. I will uh, drop a picture. And on my way home from there, when I got into Florida, I was in a line of cars doing about, oh, 75, 80 miles an hour. And some clown decided it wasn't fast enough and rear-ended me. So uh, that just about did my Volkswagen in. I will drop a picture. So you'll have two pitches back to back. It seems that we have some uh, construction here and I don't know if I'm going to get the light or not because you know I got metal I got metal plates on the ground. My next most favorite thing next to um next to um, sand and gravel. Um, I've been here a minute. Um, I paused the camera and um, hmm, I, I think whoop, I actually got the green light. I'm, I'm amazed. Usually these temporary signals do not see motorcycles, but anywho. Let me close that face shield up so you can hear me. Yeah, so, uh, insurance adjuster came to the house and, uh, looked at the car and, you know, he said it's, it's pretty beat up. He said there's most likely a lot of hidden damage and he said, you know, there's a, you know, good chance it's going to be totaled out. And the auto body shop called me when, what's today? Today is Friday. Auto body shop called me on Tuesday 
and said they need to get the adjuster back out there because there is a lot of fit and damage so I'm just waiting to hear back from either the adjuster or the body shop to see if it's a uh, total doubt so uh, I hope they can fix it but then again on the other hand I hope they do not because we all know you take a hit like that they never drive right again I know my wife's previous car her Pontiac GTP she got t-boned and um, the thing always on interstate speeds always had a whistle you know, no matter how many times they adjusted that door the car just always had a whistle at interstate speeds so well, that's about it I mean I'm going out for my first ride since April April what well actually since March since the last Friday in March which would have been what the 28th or something like that because I know um, April 1st was on a um, Monday because it was my wife's wife's birthday was the second and um, so yeah so 31 days in March right so yeah the last Friday would have been the 27th something like that I don't know don't have a calendar don't know doesn't matter but yeah so this is my first ride and uh feeling good today is also my younger brother Matthew's birthday happy birthday Matt happy 55 tomorrow is my birthday happy birthday to me happy I am officially a senior citizen tomorrow will mark 65 years around the sun on this rock we all call home so happy birthday to me I think I am going to splurge and get myself a small chocolate cake you know I was so indecisive about this birthday coming up I told my wife yeah I want a party no I don't want a party yeah I want a party and then I realized no I don't want a party it's just another day I don't want people hey yeah, happy birthday yeah, who cares you know if I really want it every day could be my birthday so enjoy the scenery I have Motley Clue yeah Motley Clue I have Motley Crew playing in my head there's some bovine they'll be on my dinner plate I have a big piece of bovine in my refrigerator for tomorrow night's dinner so yeah we have some fog burning off I don't know how good the GoPro can pick that up but if you folks want to see something really really weird is um, last July when I rode up to uh, Maine I was on Interstate 88 in um, New York and they had a lot of the smoke from the Canadian fires and the early morning sun and I mean early morning it was like maybe 5 30 6 o'clock in the morning coming up over the mountains it made the smoke pink and uh, I wasn't sure if the um, camera I had at the time was going to pick that up and surprisingly it did it and, and it was pretty cool you can go look back in my videos just look back for the uh, main trip or bust I think they're called or something like that but if you go to my channel you'll be able to see them but I don't know did I, have I rambled on enough have I filled you in on enough my health is doing good my back and my neck are doing good I'm recovering nicely from the whiplash I still see the chiropractor um, I got a ton of paperwork I got to fill out for the insurance companies for both incidences one being hit by the car and one being rear-ended on the interstate so that's about that um, and seeing where the two pitches are in there back to back uh, let me know what you think of that panhead chopper 
and let me know what you think of my wrecked car <laughs> so anywho um I think I have talked enough I said I was going to try to keep these uh, videos to under 20 minutes and um, I shall do that maybe I can get my viewership up and that's all I have to say other than there's more building going on more construction going on and traffic is a nightmare every day if you're trying to go anywhere near the city Bradenton or Sarasota Tampa it's just you got to plan an extra 90 minutes ahead if you want to go any place and that goes for getting home or going to appointments so that's that I mean that guy was doing about 75 <laughs> so yeah nothing else is going on that's it same beautiful scenery as always so uh, if you like this video give me a big thumbs up hit that like button hit that bell subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I uh, drop a new video and um, Thanks for hanging out with me for the past, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. I really didn't look at the clock when I should have. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace and God bless. Yeah, there's a little bonus footage for you. See the alligator right down there? You see him? Oh well, peace, God bless.